Did you see the video of the woman from the Port Authority chewing out the cops in Tenafly? Mm-mm. Do, do you want to hear this? I feel so weird about this yeah. video. What did she do? What do you feel weird about it? Well, it's just such an unambiguously pro-cop video. I mean, this woman is so No, obnoxious. but you know, I'll tell you what's amazing about this video. And I want you to, we're going to watch this video. Right? Exactly. Watch this video. Imagine that this woman is Diamond a black woman or, you know. Right. So, okay. So right. the video is a dash cam footage of two cops who have pulled oh, over. Yeah. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to see it again? We're going to play. Over the daughter. Yeah. We're going to play some of it. Yeah. I want to get your insight as someone who grew up probably she, next yes. next door yes. to this lady. Uh, oh what's going God. on? I yeah. mean, but just for a moment, also imagine that this woman is a uh, um, a black woman, and just like how long it would take until she was tased and uh, oh, cuffed, oh, if oh, not absolutely. actually guns yep. drawn. But uh, here it is. The the mom shows up. Apparently, she gets the call, and she comes up to the cops. And here's this. Hi, I'm Karen Turner. Hi, it's not here. I'm arrested. Here you go. It's fine. We don't. It's I here. don't. I don't need that. Okay. Fine. I'm you're, Karen you're Turner. Here to, you're just here as a ride, right? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm here as a concerned citizen and friend okay. of the mayor, and okay. been in Tenafly for I'll, 20 years. Okay. I take full responsibility for them. And what is the reason they were pulled over? The, the driver has all the information. He'll tell you. No, 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 no. I need to know. No, you don't need to know. Okay. You are not involved here. You're picking them no, up. No, no, no. I'm involved. Trust okay. me. Well, I'm, I'm very not going involved. to tell you. He's the driver of the automobile. He's over 18. That's all you need to know. Um, okay, okay. If you can... We don't need to see credentials. Okay, okay. We've I, you, need a, you need a... Pause it. All I can remember, Judy, is... Going with my grandmother in, um, in, in Newton, Massachusetts, like 25 years ago, we're driving up to uh, the, uh, they had a takeout window at the bank or whatever. And the first thing my grandmother says to the woman at the bank is, I'm a depositor. <laughs> this gets you <laughs> special, like, like special, like, yeah. And then, like the person at the bank was just like, yeah, no shit. Why else would you be here? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's listen. She, she continues. If you can give me a little bit of space here. I need some privacy. Who is this? Are you a commissioner? commissioner? I am a commissioner. One of the commissioners, and I'm heading up. Do you have an ID for, with that? That is my ID, and that is my business card. I am the commissioner of the Port Authority, and I'm heading up over 4,000 police officers. Okay, so if there's a problem, I think I have. There's no problem. Well, I... All right, we have yeah, yeah. Okay, then, oh, then oh things escalate okay, a little on. bit. And then apparently uh, there was a follow up to this. We're, oh, we're going to skip Wait, over. You we're, didn't even get to the point part where she tells them. How we're we're going to skip to that. We're going to that power. right now. Here it is. Do that. I think it's the best will, thing at this point. You know what? I'm very disappointed in the way the two of you are acting. You <laughs> cannot even tell me a mother living in Tenafly for 20 years with two kids who went through the school system, what the problem is. And that's shocking. It's shocking that you can't well, even give me a sense. I think no. we should so this conclude piece, this. I will just for safety absolutely. reasons, this is a high-speed road. I think we should all get off of the road. It's you a little bit dangerous for us being so out here sorry. as long as we were Thank anyway. Thank you for your concern with my safety. Okay. I don't need it. You can't put a sentence together. Sorry. Okay. That's pathetic. Okay. And you are a disappointment. And you are just following him. So you <laughs> are also a disappointment. Okay. You can't put together a sentence of what the are problem is. Now? Pause it. Uh, Judy, I know you've seen this, but do you think that she's picking on the short guy by saying, like, you're just his little sidekick? <laughs> yeah, you know, she's so like a, a school marm. You know, you people... You don't understand. So, You're an idiot. <laughs> I'm just, you know, it's just, and they're just like, okay, fuck you. I mean, it's seriously. Well, here she goes. She's so, getting frustrated because she yeah. can't. She's like, I'm disappointed in you. And then she turns to the guy, who, yeah. the, the shorter cop, as if like, you know, you're just his sidekick. Well, this is so stupid because yeah, even why if, couldn't you grow? Well, she has yeah. no. <laughs> well, she's leaving him like, I mean. Now, even if there was any division between the two of them, like she, now yeah. he has absolutely no choice. Right, yeah. 
Right. Here's right. Like that. Here's she. What's the are problem? You finished, now? Are you finished, ma'am? I'm shocked. Are I'm shocked finished? and very okay. disappointed. You, you Thank may, you, you may for your take help. Them. You may take them now. You may not tell me when to take my child. You may shut the up and not tell me when I may take my kids and her friends okay. who are PhD students from MIT and Yale. Okay. You may tell me PhD nothing. students. Because MIT me and Yale. Yeah. I wish they tasted it. I will be talking to the then, 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 police please. and I will be speaking to the mayor. Badge number 540. Not- <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I got your name. Just to make sure there's no discrepancy. The I There's no discrepancy. Matt is the first no. name. So and now he's just tooling on her. As long as you got all the information right. I got all your information, okay. sweetheart. You can't put a sentence together. That's shameful. Okay. That's it kind of shameful. is. I don't have get that. Have a pleasant that. Uh, weekend. You have a wonderful <laughs> weekend. <laughs> Where's this? He, he's speaking perfectly clearly. Well, the sentence she... I know. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about. She's just saying and she wouldn't tell like, him what the deal oh. was. Right, and what about how she? he's like, okay, all right, that's great. Okay, all right, terrific. All right, bye-bye. Some farm-to-table jersey. <laughs> and then Shade. she shows up, apparently, at the Tenafly uh, Police Department. There's uh, footage of that, but there's no, there's no audio. But she's, she's there pacing around in the lobby of the Tenafly Police Department. And uh, uh, obviously, subsequently, she has to resign from the Port Authority. So she is now a former uh, commissioner of the Port Authority. So she's totally obnoxious, and that's great. And her behavior there was despicable and entitled. But, I mean, if we want to, like, underline the contrast, let's remember. I mean, we don't have the video. We don't need to play it. But, I mean, Sandra Bland essentially ended up oh, dying. I... She got arrested for basically arching her eyebrow at a guy for unnecessarily right. pulling her over. Yeah, it's. It's abhor- the the way African Americans are treated. It is abhorrent and re- it's horrible. It's fucking horrible. I can't take it. It's really. It's just. It's ugh. Sorry. I mean, that did you see the story? There was a story uh, in New York. Um, Actually, not uh, somewhere in New York State, where uh, five uh, black women were playing golf. And uh, mm-hmm. the racist owner of not the owner, but like the it sounds like the father in law um, mm-hmm. basically called the cops on them, claiming that they were at, they were golfing at too slow a pace, even though it turns out that they were not like they they had skipped the second hole because they got chastised after the first hole. And then they had to wait on the third hole for the people in front of them and. If you've got to wait, you're not playing at too slow a pace. The people ahead of you, maybe, but not you. And then they called the cops on them. The cops showed and up. What and what happened? Well, the cops showed up and they listened to it and they said, this is not something you call the cops for. So this was the case of cops being like, you people are racist who are wasting our time. It, it was, you know, right. when the cops are the voice of reason in these right. situations at the golf right. club, then you know yeah. you got a problem. He's like, look, I personally have right. six bodies in my own account <laughs> of innocent black people I've killed, sir, but this is ridiculous. To the credit of the owner of the, uh, the golf club, they basically said, we are going to go deep into, um, you know, uh, evaluating what's going on with our club. Dad isn't allowed here anymore. I think it was really like... <laughs> Finally, honestly, you really got the sense of like, like that somebody was like, thank God I'm going to be able to get my father-in-law to fuck away from this club for the first time in 25 years. Because now he's really done it. Now he's really done it. What a fucking asshole. But just imagine like, like, you know, and this is what is just so devastating about this. Like, just imagine being one of those women. We went out to play golf and we get harassed for no fucking reason. You, you know, the... There's no way for you to go through life not assuming that every time you get slighted, it doesn't have something to do with your race. And and, yep. and certainly Absolutely. everybody gets slighted to some extent, but you don't have uh, any reason to believe it's other than like, oh, that guy's a jerk as opposed to right. it's because of my skin color.